Hi there, once again, welcome back to my channel. In this edition of my quick Excel tips is how to use the text function in Excel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So let's say I want to combine full name and then date of birth together into one cell. I can easily use the text function to get this. So if I drag this across, you can see I'll be able to get, I will be able to get the name and then the date of birth combined. Without the text function, this is going to be a bit complicated. So without much ado, let's jump right into action and see how to we can do this. We can combine this to using the text function. So I'm going to select everything and delete it. Okay, so let's jump right into action and do this without a text function. Okay, so like I said, a text function converts numeric values into text in a number format. Okay, so we want to combine this to and still have our date of birth displayed as we have. So to do this, let me type equal to, I'm going to do it without a text function and see the negative part of this. Then we'll use a text function to do the correction. Okay, so I'll type equal to and I'll select the name. And then I'm going to bring this symbol quotes and then quotes again because I want to introduce a hyphen between the name and then the date of birth. So I'll bring this finally and then I'll select the date of birth. If I enter this, you can see I'm getting my name correct, but the date of birth will be formatted into a serial number. So it's giving me a serial, a serial number, which I don't want. So we're going to use the text function to fix this. So let me delete this and let's go with the text function and see how best we can do this. So the same formula, but this time let's enter equal to, and I will select our name column. Bring the ampersand symbol, quote, hyphen. We want to introduce a hyphen between the name and then the date of birth the name and then the date of birth and then i'll bring quotes again then bring the ampersand symbol once again and this time around instead of selecting this we're going to introduce a text function so that you select a text function and you're going to take two arguments that's the value and the value is what the date of birth and i bring comma and then for the formatting type we are going to define the formatting because this is a date of birth we're going to convert everything into a string so you need to put that into a quote. So the day is going to be DD for the day. The month is going to be MM for the month slash. And you want to get the year. And the year is going to be YYYY. Okay. So we want to display the full year. If it's 1985, we'll do that. And then close your brackets. And you close your quote first and then close your brackets. So if you hit enter, you can see we are not getting everything in full as we want. So we just have to go ahead and then drag this. We just have to drag this down. You can see this time around. We are getting everything formatted. Like, subscribe, and give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video because there are a lot of tips I'll be sharing on this channel and I know it's going to benefit you. Like and share. So we've been able to display this the year. So once you do this, you should be able to get this sorted out. So this is basically how you can use the text function. I'll be talking more about several other functions in Excel. So to get alert on that, remember to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So this is my short tips on how to use the text function in Excel. Like, subscribe, and then turn on post notifications. So that come away again, bye-bye.